I'm just out here in the parking lot making my van look pretty. You guys seen all the mud that was on it? Well, I cleaned it all off and I've been meeting subscriber after subscriber after subscriber. Hi. There's another, what's your wife's name? Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> hey guys. You don't believe me now, hey? Well, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I met him. Welcome to Asaga Beach. That's a lake, for real. That's not an ocean, that's a lake. Wait till you see this. Yeah, the big fat sandy beaches, seven miles long, super wide, in the nice teal colored water. No, we're not in Mexico. We're in Canada, yo. This is legit a lake. I was, in, I was just in awe this morning. And then walking around, I met this cool guy. You know, good things happen when someone's unlocking a gate for you and things are closed. So I'm outside filming the outside of this super rad mini golf course called Skull Island. And the guy just starts talking to me and turns out he built this place with his own hands with his son in a shop. And it turns out this guy also built the golf course that's just down the street from my shop in Parksville, BC. Pretty rad. What an opportunity I have here this morning, walking through Wasaga Beach and I'm filming on the outside of this place and the owner popped his head out by the fence and we had a great conversation and he let me inside here to see this masterpiece of a place that he built personally himself. I know when I drive by these places and I think these places are just super, super cool, but you don't really get to realize that somebody local has put their hard earned artistic effort into making these places beautiful so people can come out and uh, play some mini golf. So I want to introduce you guys to uh, Pirate G. <laughs> awesome. So you built this whole place yourself? I did. This was number 17 for me, actually. 17 different Se ones. 17 different ones, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is the one that uh, stayed at the longest. We've been here 11 years now. Yeah. And uh, loving it. So like all this, just you and like you have a well, team? Well, myself and my son built like the pirate ship. That's made out of steel and concrete. Uh, everything you see here, the murals are painted by myself. Um, yeah, pretty much we built the whole thing. That's, That's what we do. That's amazing. I love the randomness of my travels. I love the randomness of people that come into my world or across my path, or the people that allow me to put my camera up or drone up above them or their business or what they're doing. Today was totally random. I can't believe I met this guy. He completely inspired me today. Like I was vibrating with energy after meeting him. And it really made me think here after I put the drone up, how many people come through this place every single year that just think, oh, this was cool, and then off to go about their day, not realizing that this is a piece of the life work of a father and son. They put their heart, their energy into this, and built this place with their own hands. Man, I love my van life. And meeting Pirate G was definitely the highlight of my day. Everywhere around, even that uh, treasure chest over there, Yeah, that's concrete and steel. <laughs> So all these lanterns, you'll see, they have flame bulbs in them. At night, the oh, yeah? whole place is lit up. The murals are lit up. This place just comes alive. It's a different world at night. So each one of these lanterns has a flame bulb, like I said, but that was built in my shop. Like the cannon there. The cannon barrel, that's concrete, and I put a rust paint on it, and let it rust, and it looks like steel. <laughs> it looks good over there. <laughs> So each hole is unique as well, and we tried to create a different experience with each hole. So as you see this hole, it's kind of like, a, what do you call it, Plinko or something like that. Yeah. So you don't know for sure if you can get her in the hole in one, but a lot of people try. So as I said, I'm Pirate G. This is Wasaga Beach. It's the greatest place in the summertime. You got to come down and visit me because I'm here all summer. So Pirate G was saying that if me and Emmy roll back through, he's going to give us some VIP access maybe to come do a round of mini golf. Anyway, guys, if you're out here in Wasaga Beach, this dude is a super awesome guy. And I would definitely come down and give this place a visit. 
for a shit. This place feels a lot like Mexico. This beach is huge. I guess seven miles long of pure sandy beaches along the entire side of this town. And down here is probably gotta be insane in the summertime. I hear like 10,000 people every single day down here all summer. And it has a Mexican vibe because of all the little businesses down here. There's Corona signs up there. You know, the parties are going down right here. Wasaga Beach, a pretty cool place. really like this place. There is sand everywhere. Like all over here in front of all those little houses over there, just like sand. What an awesome day so far today has been. It is so cool in my life to be able to gather these moments of my, well, my travels and share them with you guys. And also for me, now I got a catalog of things that happened in my day every day. Like Pirate G. I'll never forget that because now, well, I got the video. So we're sitting here at a park in Ontario, Canada because I got a van tour to film today. Uh, Rob and Jan, they've been on my Patreon and stuff for quite a while, and today I get the chance to film with them, so while we're waiting, we're just going to polish up the van. Oh, keeping the van all nice and clean. Not very often do I get underneath here and, you know, clean this up, but we're probably going to be in, in cities for a little bit. So I figured, you know, Giving this thing a good clean is a good idea. Oh yeah. I don't know what I was today. Maybe all this sunshine and being out at the beach and stuff this morning inspired me to give the van a wash and a bit of a polish. I absolutely love my van when it's out on the trail super muddy, but I also like my van when it looks you know, super shiny and kind of like a pavement princess. It ain't no pavement princess though. I get this thing dirty, but I don't know. It's the old lowrider part of me that likes to see it, you know, all blingy. <laughs> I love my home. Dweller. Hey. hey! What's up? The dirty van dwellers hang out? Yeah. Are you guys dirty van dwellers? Absolutely. Then yes, please. <laughs> Look at this door. Hey. Cool, you guys remember that from the video I made at Ray Outfitted? These things are awesome. Yeah, we love it. All right, I'm coming in. Ugh. You're taller, you don't need to step. You're lucky. Sweet. All right. Ugh. Chrome, I want to give you one of our cards. We have cards. And we have just brand new. These stickers are awesome. That's stickers. I like them a lot. Really good. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that before. <laughs> All right. So I wrote your poem, Chrome. Poem Chrome, that rhymes. All right, Chrome and Emmy. Two van lifers live in the dream. They had it all, it would seem. Freedom and adventure at every bend. Their lives complete, alone till the end. Chrome and Cruz, lone wolves on the road. Emmy and Kelly and their cozy abode. But sometimes a twist can change your path, even for those who don't often bath. Alone but not lonely was Chrome's calling card. But alas, a French lady hit his heart hard. Cat Lady Van and Van City Van Life, their paths crossed, weirdos do unite. A perfect match, still solo yet together, enduring the travel in all kinds of weather. Now Emmy is waiting for Chrome on the coast, full setting at east, Chrome in full boyfriend mode. We are stoked for you both. You deserve to be happy. I hope this poem isn't too sappy. Go find your girl and hug her real tight. There's truth in the saying, weirdos unite. 
<laughs> I love it. That is awesome. <laughs> so the last time you guys did a poem for us, there was tequila involved. Right. Yeah. What the heck? We don't have any tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you have a bottle of milk? No, that's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Oh man, I just cleaned my van today. <laughs> we got fresh guts all over it. So we are back here at Re Outfitted to make home here for, for the night again tonight. I am so freaking starving. Let's make some food. All right, so we're going to, uh... <laughs> there's a lot of fruit in here, my friends. Lots of fruit. We're gonna need a beer. Let's try that one. All right, so we're actually gonna put everything we're gonna make for dinner all into the pot right from here. These little broccoli tender things, they're so good. So if you got a Ford van or a Chevy van in here, if you push this, you can pop that up. A lot of people don't know about this. So here, this thing's come off. You push this in and they pop out. So you can open up your doors all the way. You wouldn't believe how many vanners I've bumped into that didn't know that they could open up the doors of the van the whole way. Giving me all this extra room because that's normally how far the doors open. Mine, I'm limited with my spare tire carrier but I can still get that one open a little bit farther too. Making this a very big usable kitchen table, dining table, bar, whatever. I'm gonna cover those up, let them steam just to get them soft a bit. I've never cut a pepper so little in my life. It's tiny and it's cute. <laughs> I discovered that frying the rice is the best way to do this. Make the rice a little bit crunchy. So it's just rice, a little bit of oil. Oh yeah. We're gonna add the veggies. All right. This is looking mighty good. Adding this magic sauce, so good. Just super salty goodness. It's crazy that all the times I've made this meal, I'm still not tired of it. Like, I think the key to like loving this thing every time you cook the same meal is this damn stuff. It's called Maggie. I don't know what else it says. It looks like it's in a different language. Unbelievable. Mmm. But I always keep an extra sauce on hand just in case I get bored. <laughs> Sometimes I do towards the end of the dish. I start throwing some extra stuff on there, but this salty goodness is amazing. I would have never thought that I would be inside a mini golf course filming it and talking to the owner. That's not something I expected to do in today's video. I thought we were just gonna go play around on the beach and have a beach kind of day. Turns out I got super inspired by meeting Mr. Pirate G. So if you're watching this video, Pirate G, I would love the opportunity at some time in the future, doesn't have to be this year, could be years in the future, to come by your shop and film you guys creating something. Or maybe, maybe you guys will drag me along on the next uh, next big mini golf course you, you, you build. Hey, if you're on Vancouver Island, everybody, you hit me up on there every single winter. I would love that chance. Anyway, everybody, be inspired by the world around you. There's so many things in your days every day you guys can draw inspiration from, including just a random dude that built a, built a mini golf course. Who'd have thought? Thanks for watching you guys. Please come on over and join us on Patreon and keep this channel moving forward and definitely keep that gas tank full. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys back here in a few days. Bam! Peanut butter tacos, baby!